All right, so the next thing I want to talk about here is how to review papers. So this is also going to include how to review each other's resumes, since that's something you're going to have coming up. But I also want to talk about it in the context of you evaluating your own writing and evaluating actual essays and a little bit of uh, peer review if you're doing research work later on. I'm not going to cover a whole lot about how to review in terms of peer review for researching. This is mostly going to be about the ethics essay and reviewing resumes. So we're going to talk again about reviewing and editing. Right? So here we're going to talk about, let's start with some of the things that you're generally going to look for when you're reviewing work. And the first things that you're going to look for when you're reviewing any kind of work is going to be content. And then the other thing you're going to look for is quality. All right. So content here is going to be about the types of things you're putting into your essay, uh, the types of things you're putting on to your resume. So this is going to be things such as uh, if you're talking about essays, oh, hold on, if we're talking about essays, then we want to talk about things such as your sources. Are your sources good? Is that content good? Is your uh, claims backed by evidence? Right. And then you also want to talk about things such as uh, your opinion statements and then your general qual quantity of information, the types of things you're presenting. Uh, now, when we talk about quality, so we're, we're just going to go ahead and leave this here as, as blue. Uh, for the content here, quality, we're going to just go ahead and put that in pink. Quality includes things such as your grammar, your structure, and your style, right? It also includes things like tone, uh, your general uh, depth and focus, how direct you are. It covers a lot of things, but these are the important things that you're generally going to be looking for when reviewing that information. So you want to make sure that you're covering these things when you're helping each other improve your writing, when you're reviewing your own work. And when you're looking at essay, or we're talking about essays already, when we're talking about resumes, uh, hold on. If we're talking about resumes, Then things you're going to be looking for include, like, the for content you're going to look at, do they have all of the things that they need to have? Do they have work experience? Do they have any school groups that they're a part of? If you are part of uh, Cyber Eagles, for example, if you hold a position in Cyber Eagles, that's a really good thing to put on your resume. Uh, you can put TA positions onto that resume. That's, that's also good. Uh, you can add things for uh, your your volunteer experience. You can add certificates if you have any. Just as much of that information as you can put on there. Now, other things you're going to look for in terms of quality, when you're talking about quality of your resume, you're going to look at, uh, again, things such as style and structure. You also want to make sure that you have the right, uh, the tone, the right uh, general wording of your resume. So remember that we don't use complete sentences on resumes. So it's things like that, making sure you have the, the right type of quality there. It's also going to be things like use of color, right? And the general, the presentation of that information that you put into that content. So that's what we're looking for. And in the next video that I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about how 
to not review. So things that you don't want to do when you're reviewing somebody's work, things that you want to make sure that you're being uh, honest and upfront about and how we actually give that kind of feedback.